Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. When a man lives in the elements of springtime, he's going to wake up with a little bit of, well, discomfort. He's also going to wake up enjoying how the squirrels run around in town and look and scavenge for food, much like we've seen in some marvelous cartoons. The truth is that people all around the globe need food. And when we're thinking about our gross national product, it might not be listed that food is a big export, but I'm pretty sure it is. And maybe it's just a government that doesn't want to let people know that because of whatever mood happens around the globe in the insult to our country. It's sort of amazing how many children of foreign lands come here and don't value our food. They literally buy things, they don't like them, they throw them away, and that's fine, but they could also take any food, any leftovers, and give it to our swine. You see, just about everything in the world has a circle of life, as we learn from the Song and Lion King. But the truth is, when someone is literally starving in the streets, it's amazing how many children will walk by thinking, Aw, isn't that neat? and really making a joke on that person's life. You see, it's usually young white men that have that attitude the most. Young black men tend to be a little bit more thoughtful, a little bit more conscientious, but at some point they time out of their interest and they time out of their willingness to help. You see, it's not usually about color of skin, it's about predilection of, I've done my little part and now I'm done. Yeah, that little part saved a life today. What I like to challenge young men and young women on the campus is, okay, so you're now going down to one of the four alcohol shops to get some booze with your friend. And regardless of who you are or what kind of party you're about to star in, you're spending some serious cash that most likely you didn't earn. My guess is your parents keep copies of your bank records and so they can see where you're shopping and what you're paying and what you're spending. And a lot of fathers are okay with that because they know their sons need to learn how to find that girl for the ending. But what I'm talking about is what you spend. If you're spending a good $50 on alcohol for evenings with your friends, why would you prefer to spend that $50 on alcohol instead of sharing some of that wealth with someone who's, well, impoverished or homeless? Or do you feel that you could never possibly be homeless? Because I had that attitude too. My thought that it was I would never be homeless. That there would be no one in my life that would try to make me homeless, try to keep me homeless, or try to ruin my life record so that it was hard for me to find a place to be sheltered and safe from the elements of the world. The weather, <clears throat> the people who are ill-willed in their soul.